So everybody are waiting either for a big correction or the jump to $6,000. And from the beginning I must say that Tone Waste, you all probably know him, he opened a short trade on Bitcoin very recently and you may think about him in any way but he is a trader and he actually was opening another short trade in this area but it didn't play out because of his BitMEX account problems but in any case he was right and now he is doing the same thing. He's actually using indicator which is called TD Sequential and the main point of this indicator is that the close price of the candles are counted with respect to the previous candles like four candles before them and then if there is a trend for nine consecutive candles then the ninth candle is the last candle of the trend and at that point it's reasonable to open a position which will be a contra contrarian to the current trend and you see currently the ninth candle is red of course there are a lot of different aspects of this method and the, this indicator is very complicated but the basics are like this so we see ninth candle on the weekly chart and you would see the ninth candle on the daily chart so tone believes in his indicator and his skill of using it so he opened a short position of course with a stop order and so on but you see this is the point here now i would like to show you another thing which is sort of popular right now on twitter and youtube this is rsi so many people are talking about that and the point here is that it works pretty nicely to defining bear market and bull market so if you have rsi close to 100 or at least to at the upper half of its distribution then it is pretty much bull market so you can see it from here and from here the rsi was on average above a certain middle line here this line is 54 but you can put in just on 50 which is the center and get pretty much the same result but i just put it here because you see recently rsi touched it several times so 54 in my chart if rsi is below this line then it is bear market as we saw here and here in fact as soon as the price really started to going down then we see the intersection of this line an attempt to break it again but didn't play out and eventually at the very bottom of the previous market we saw the rsi and at the lowest point here the same thing when we had the lowest price so far three thousand one hundred fifty dollars something rsi was on the weekly time frame was at the lowest point and it's very very similar to what we had in 2015 so now rsi is going above this trend line which i drew and actually it may repeat the same structure as here so it may go above this line and go down as soon as there will be a correction of the price here and indeed the recent price rise which we had is very very strong and correction is very much required so here you can see i pointed out this time when the rsi is at max and here as well now we'll close rsi and show you the previous results which we had with bollinger bands and there is indeed some magic numbers happening there so you see at this point when rsi is at the local top we see the price was above the bollinger bands after that rsi was going going lower and the price was going lower and then it actually tested the bottom of bollinger bands and at the same time it went below 200 weeks moving average pretty much the same thing we are seeing right now except that we didn't drop yet so prices above the upper band and there is another thing here so if you'll draw long-term regression bitcoin which is basically the envelope function for the tops and the lows of bitcoin price then you would see that here in 2015 this rise from this trend function trend line was about 40 percent 42 percent here in 2018 this rise is 42 percent now when the price was correcting downwards we saw that the difference between this trend line and the lowest price was 20 percent you see here and another thing is that this trend line was going above the 200 days moving average so in 2015 you would see that pretty much the same we see right here the trend line is above 200 weeks moving average and if you would think that the same similar correction would happen and actually the difference between the trend line and the moving average is the same 9 10 to 10 percent as it was before 
at the point when the price was correcting to the lowest point. Now, if you would expect that the same size correction will happen from these levels, then you would expect the same percentage. So probably it will be not like instant. So the trend line will continue to go something like this. And at the point of this trend line will be somewhere here to the lowest point will be 20%. So I would see I would say it's on the area $3,200, $3,300. Of course, it's not necessarily to be the same, so maybe like plus minus two, $300, but still it's well below the current point and it's like 30 to 40% from the, from the current price. So if you believe that the history repeats itself, then go ahead and sell and at least partially sell or even open a short position. Not a financial advice, guys. But if you are playing a long-term game and you don't want to risk, then just hold your Bitcoins. You can even buy more if you are planning to hold it for like few years. You can buy also altcoins, it doesn't matter. Probably top 5, top 10 should, should do well within the next few years, I would say. And yeah, as usual, not a financial advice, guys, just my personal thought on the process. It doesn't mean that we cannot actually search up to $6,000 or $7,000 or $10,000. Everything is possible in crypto, you know. But the lesson of the history is like this. So we may see the very much similar behavior, especially considering the, all the matches. Like here we had 40% rise, here we had 40% rise as well. Here we have the difference between the moving average and trend line and so on and so forth. But enough pessimism. I would like to show you this plot as well. This is our Bitcoin price evolution from the $6,000 drop. And you see, if you will have this area, I marked it here as number one. And if you will translate it here and just reflect it along the horizontal axis, you will get pretty much similar as we have right now. If you will take this area number two and reflect it and move here, then you will see pretty much the same as we had as well. So does it mean that whales are playing some games with us, but just in different direction? Possibly so. But anyway, if you'll follow the same logic and take this area and translate it here, you would get something like $7,000 within maybe a week or 10 days or something like that. So it doesn't mean that it will happen, but just interesting resembles of previous patterns and what we see right now. And that's it for today. Hope it was useful. Thank you for watching.